All right. I apologize for the lighting. I always have to apologize for the lighting. It's fluorescent light. I'm not this white. My hair ain't red. But anyway, <laughs> I'm going to show you guys how to do our suspension bushings for the Razor 1000. I've taken liberty of uh, obviously putting it on a lift, taking the tire off. And another thing I did is there's four screws in your front bumper, uh, little hex, hex, uh, hex screws, and they are a T40. And you just pull the front four out so that you can pull this forward to get to this uh, bolt and A-arm bush. All right, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to do one arm at a time, and I'm not taking both off the vehicle at the same time. I'm going to take my lower off first, and then after I get it all installed back, then I'm going to take the top arm off. All right, but I am going to take the top, uh, the bottom of the shock loose very first. So let's let's get going on that. And it's, one good thing about this is it's 15 millimeter on all of these, so it works out good. I've got our got our uh, shock loose. All right. Next thing I'm going to do is uh, take the bolt out of the bottom ball joint. And you're probably going to have to turn the turn it where you can get to it. All right. And again, that's the same 15 millimeter. Once you do that, you may have to pry that, depending on how this is a brand new machine. Okay. Anyway, I didn't have a good tool for that. Uh, pry that out and then start taking your uh, bolts out of your A-arm. Same 15 millimeter. that bolt out and get the rear. I think I had to switch to a ratchet because of where we had to get to. Okay, we got our A-arm off, and this is certainly not the most orthodox way of doing this, but I'm having to do it within the confines of this uh, video. But basically, you want to push out stock sleeves, and then, um, and I, if I was at somewhere else, it would be a whole lot easier and more convenient to do this. So, But then, I've got a little punch, and I can get on the end of the bushing, stock bushing, and tap it out. Okay, so bushings are out and the sleeves are out. I'm actually going to wipe this lube out of here. Okay, now these bushings are designed to be pressed in. Don't beat them. You can damage them. I mean, you could damage them with a hammer. Or whatever so what I'm gonna do is is I'm gonna just kind of get them started and then show you how we do, I do it on a vice okay so just basically you get them started with your hands and I'm gonna move the camera over here by the vice all right it probably wouldn't be a bad idea to put a rag or something in here to keep from scratching them uh, in the vice but this is what I call pressing them in and just want to press it and it's sliding over one and then it's going to go to the other. All right, now don't put too much pressure on it. Once it's bottomed out, you just stop, okay? Now I'm going to go ahead and put the sleeve in this one. And if you can help it, don't touch the sides of them because of that powder that's on them. That's a lubricant and in much of it you can get stay on there. The more of it will get worked in. All right, and then take that. This can get a little hard going in, but you want to try to keep this in this vise as straight as possible to get it to go. You can see I'm having to put out a little bit to get it to go in. But again, do not beat these in anything. If you need to find a vise 
or even a press, but of course with a press it's got so much force that you can damage something. Okay, once again, you get to a point. All right. Now we got our bushings in, our sleeve in. And just repeat, just repeat it on the other side. We got both our bushings in and we just got to put reverse the process. Got the camera off, put this thing back in, but I did notice that when I took this A arm out that the bolts wouldn't come out. And that just meant that Polaris and their great engineering specs just wasn't right on this A arm. So I had a little time getting it back in and you made two so I had to come up with a little redneck engineering. So basically just tighten up uh, both bolts. All right, then we're going to put our bolt back in our ball joint. I'll put our ball joint back in. Fun part is, when I just do another side off camera, it's faster and easier than this one. Y'all pressured me. Put the bolt back in from the front, not the rear. bottom A arm is done. So then we're going to take our top one off. Before we get too far along um, taking the other A arms out, the brake line is on here. Okay, the top one has like a little clip that you can pull out and get the uh, brake line out of it. The bottom one, however, you can't get it out. So, what we're going to do is we're going to drill the rib out and then we're going to include a screw to put back in it. Or if you want to go to trouble to riveting, go ahead. brake line is loose, we got a ball joint loose, and now we got to take these out. Alright, it's kind of, it's kind of hard to work into confines of the camera lens, so basically what I'm doing is, is just taking the bolt out of the front. Um, tell that this one was tweaked a little bit too. The other side was really smooth. All right, one of the things that I found out is, is there's a spot here on the rack. And what you need to do is, is, is turn your steering wheel to the right so that you can get by the little hump on the end of the steering rack where the inner, inner tie rod is so you can get your bolt out. And don't rip your steering boot. All right, we got it, our A-arm out, and basically we're gonna do the same process we did a while ago, pushing the um, sleeves out, and then knocking the bushings out 
and uh, basically squeeze squeeze them back in with the vise. Uh, I think we'll do at least a small one over on there and show you how to do with these. All right, one thing you're going to notice um, is that this top one doesn't have a, a greasable fitting. Al alamite, I believe is what it's called. So this is one of the limitations of the stock system right here. And so with ours, not, it doesn't need greasing, it doesn't need lubricating, it's going to last that much longer, plus the fact that we made these bushings thicker with this particular one. And this is kind of unorthodox too, because this is kind of hard to hold all this, but hey, I'm going to try to make it that freaking easy when it's not. Got to do this gentle. Don't get in a hurry, because you can mess these up in a hurry. It's kind of hard to hold all this at one time. All right, just repeat with your bigger bushings on the other side. A right, little trick, also if I hadn't mentioned it already, is, is you got to get this A arm. When once you get your tension on it, try to get it as square as possible. I'm pushing that sleeve into the thinner portion, but you got to get your A arm as square as possible so it can go right in. All right, there we go. Bushing the sleeve upper arm. All right, now we put our arm back on. Make sure you get your brake line to the right of the A-arm. And then you also get above. Don't try to go up underneath or anything. Uh, your uh, tie rod. Got them started. Tighten them back up. All right. Next thing we're going to do is put the shock back in, oh, excuse me, we're going to put the uh, ball joint back in. Alright, make sure your brake line's around it. And then, goes in from the front, put that on, and we got the shock bolt, Now, next thing we're going to do, put our brake line back in our clip at the top, but we drilled our rivet out. Well, what we're going to do is we're going to put it back. And then we're going to take a screw, supplied with a kit go back in the rivet hole. All right. And we're good to go. So all that leaves, put your tire back on, you're ready to rock and roll. Apologize for some of the oddness in the video. It's not always that easy to do everything in this little hole that we're having to work in and under the pressure of the camera. So anyway, if you guys have any questions or concerns about our suspension bushing kits, give me a call here at Hunter Works.